<laughs> Hebrew Israel, yeah. Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'll be when I'm up to Claflin. Oh yeah. Guy got me to come up there and and and, and debate with him. Oh good. But he ain't know what he was talking about. <laughs> I can't say none of them do, but I know he did. Yeah. Yeah. I, they believe they believe a whole lot of stuff. Like they, they like I said, they believe King James is black. Um, anybody know anybody know King James was King England. They know he wasn't black. Yeah, I know. I don't know where they're getting this from. I mean, it, wouldn't, it, it didn't take no rocket science to figure that out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they, it's, it's about yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people say King James, King James translated the Bible, but King James didn't translate no Bible. Exactly. I was translated by a Catholic monk. Uh huh. He just gave his seal of approval on it. Exactly, exactly. Kind, kind of like um, kind of like Constantine at the Council of Nicaea. He didn't have no, all he did was was let everybody else discuss everything, figure everything out. And he put his seal of approval on it. Hey, but see, see, a lot of people. Say, I talked to some 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 seven days. And they say that's what they say. They say Constantine changed the Sabbath, the Sunday. So no, mm-hmm. Constantine didn't. Right. The first thing Constantine was no Christian. Mm-hmm. Constantine's mother, whose name was Helena, she supposed to become a Christian. And every place Jesus did a work, she went back and put and put a shrine there. Constantine lightened up some of the pressures on on the Christian because of his mama. But uh, he, Constantine never was a Christian. I say, I, I say, Christianity got messed up, not with Constantine. Christianity got messed up in 387 AD. Mm. That's when Christianity got all messed up. And it been messed up ever since. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh-huh. if you want to see how Christianity is, they got the history book of, of the church, and, and that's the book of Acts. If you don't find the book of Acts, it came in there from someplace else. Man put it in there. See what happened? Um, not Constantine, but um, Gratian was the emperor of Rome. Wasn't only just the emperor of Rome, but he was the supreme pontiff for the Babylonian priesthood. Oh, okay. And when Gratian took over in 377, yeah, 377, he said he didn't want to have nothing to do with that religious stuff. He just wanted to be over the civil affairs of Israel. So the, the, part, the, the Babylonian priesthood didn't have nobody over. So they went a year. They came back to him in 378. They say, man, we all, y'all always been, 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 been over us. We got to have a head. So he said, well, I don't want nothing to do with it. You got the masters over there. The masters was the bishop of the Christian church in Rome. You know, same church that Paul started, but Timothy was the bishop of it one time. But um, he said, give it to the masters. The masters know that, that the Babylonian peace there was a whole lot of paganism, and he didn't want to have nothing to do with it. So um, Gratian told him, said, well, I'm giving you a chance to be the, the religion of Rome. You can be the head of all the religions of Rome. We have a Rome go, you're going to be over it. Now, but if you don't want it, I'm gonna run all the religions out of Rome. Ain't gonna be no more religion. So he compromised and he took it. And that's when, when he compromised, that's when the church started getting messed up. They started bringing all that stuff. The, the Buddhists came in with their stuff, with them all them statues. And the Hindus came in with their beads and all that stuff. And they just got all messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Just got all messed up. That's when Roman Catholicism started. You know. You 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 notice what they call the Pope? Um, what father? No, the Pontiff. You ain't never heard him call him the Pontiff. Oh, because that's what he is. He he the chief Pontiff for the Babylonian priesthood. That's uh, why he got that's why his hat got two crowns on. They got one in front, one in the back. Because mm. they was over they was over Rome. Plus they was over the plus they was over the the, the Babylonian priesthood. And he's still over that. That's what he. That's what that's what the Pope is. Catholics ain't Christian. Yeah, they claim Christianity, but yeah, if you, if they say Christianity, but they ain't Christian. Mm-hmm. Cause they they say that Mary, see, they Jesus and the Jesus of the Bible, two different Jesus. 
Yeah, they think Mary's divine. They, they say Mary was a virgin, and she remained a virgin, and she ascended into heaven bodily and became the queen of heaven. Yeah, they think she's divine. Bible, the Bible don't say that. Uh-huh. Mary had other Mary had other children. Jesus had sisters and brothers. Mary had other children. So if you got a different Mary, you got to have a different Jesus. Right, right, right. You know, now they say they were men of a petrol virgin. She ascended into heaven bodily and became the queen of heaven to dispense of all grace. The Bible ain't talk about no queen of heaven. The Bible talk about the king of heaven. And say Jesus is the man Christ Jesus, not the woman, but the man Christ Jesus is the expense is the dispense of all grace. Nothing about no Mary. But that's what they say. And, you know, people can tell you stuff, so I used to believe that. You know, I used to be Catholic. Yeah. I, I used to believe all that stuff. They pushed it in me from a child. They, they tried to get me to go to school to be a priest when I was leaving the eighth grade, getting ready to go to the ninth grade. They wanted to send me to St. Emma's Military Academy down in Virginia. Mm-hmm. But I didn't, I didn't want to go to no all boys school. And I didn't want to be no priest. Right. You know. But they done this, they done plan my life for me. They called in New York and talked to my mom and they done had they done had my mom and I start buying the clothes for me to go to school though. They done plan my life without asking me anything. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, I, I believe nobody wasn't going to heaven, not nobody but the Catholics, because that's what they teach you. Mm-hmm. And see that's why they want the children. I mean, me and your mama got married. She 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 said that her children were gonna come up Catholic. That was she had to do for them to marry us. They call it a mixed marriage, man. A Catholic marriage, somebody who ain't a Catholic, they call that a mixed marriage. But now that if it was if if, if if she was a Catholic and I was a man, I would have still had to say that our children were gonna come up Catholic. But um but I'm glad you didn't come up Catholic. But uh they but but they push stuff in it. See, when you're young, they know they can push stuff into your head. Right. That's right. what they did with me. They push all that stuff in my head, and I thought that was it. Mm. And if you wasn't a Catholic, you were going straight to heaven. Everybody going to going to heaven is Catholic. Yeah, they they got a lot of twisted stuff. They 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 indoctrinate a lot of paganism into Christ in the Christianity. I know. I, I'm telling you, that's when it started in 378 AD. Under the masters, he was the bishop of the Christian Church of Rome. Right. That's when that when Roman Catholicism got its start. Mm. Became the became the church religion. That's why it's Roman Catholicism. Right. Right. Mm. Mm. You know the Vatican is a country. You know that, right? Yeah. A it's country crazy. within the city. <laughs> it's, in, it's inside of Rome, but it's a country. Got, they got diplomatic relations with 119 countries around the world. Hmm. That's why when the Pope says something, they listen. 